Hey YouTube, it's me XPT, and today I will show you, <coughs> as you can see, 3.0 firmware. I updated to 3.0 firmware and jailbroken. So today I'll be doing that video tutorial on how to jailbreak. Um, um, I won't be able to be, I won't be able to do the PC jailbreak video for this because. My PC is still broken. I haven't gotten it fixed yet. I'm not sure when. By the way, the new pon Ponage tool only supports the I first generation iPod and the two iPhones, not the iPhone 3G. Only the iPhone first gen and the iPhone 3G. iPhone 3GS is not supported yet. They are working on the jailbreak for the iPod second generation and the iPhone 3GS. So we'll get started. <clears throat> download Ponage tool and then you have gotta download the 3.0 firmware which is right here. Um, I would suggest you save it on your desktop, it's always the best spot. Um, so I'm going to re jailbreak my uh, iPhone even though I don't want to just because I'm a nice guy for you guys. Um, select your device, I have th iPhone 3G it'll search for your, the firmware that you downloaded <coughs> and it will automatically detect it uh, so just let it, f and there it is select it, continue do you wanna create an IPSW file that you can use to restore your iPhone with iTunes? you, you click yes do you have a contract active activate you have an iPhone 3G contract that would activate normally through iTunes. What this means is if you got your iPhone 3G through a carrier like AT&T for the US or as in Canada where I'm from, it, you get it from Rogers or Fido or in the UK it's O2 and Orange I believe. <clears throat> if you have a legit contract with the iPhone 3G then you click yes but if you got yours as a factory as a, an iPhone from a factory I, s I think you probably click on no because those do not have contracts and those do not are not locked to a carrier so if your phone is locked to a carrier AT&T, Rogers, Fido, O2 and Orange I think then you click yes so I am going to click yes since I'm on Rogers and it's going to start building your IPSW <clears throat> um, in about a couple minutes it's gonna ask for your password you're gonna imp type your password hit enter now after you press no it'll take you into the steps on how to put it into DFU mode so we'll continue here it is it says turn off your device so I'm gonna turn it off <clears throat> and once this is immediately when it turns off the timer will start So I will face it your way so you guys can see it. Alright, so it goes two, three, four, five. Press them together, both of them at the same time. And you keep on holding them until it reaches 10 seconds. Let go of the power button, but keep your thumb on the home button. successfully enter DFU mode and I got a warning I'm not sure I've never had that before so I am in DFU mode <coughs> I'm gonna and you gotta close phonage tool press OK and now here, before you press restore, I want you to hold the options key. It's very important that you hold the options key. <coughs> so, we're going to go hold options and press restore. Look for your custom firmware, the one that you just made. It should say custom firmware, as you can see right there. Sorry, I'll highlight. 
custom restore open it now it's gonna extract it and if I can you need to be connected to the internet because this will need to contact the iTunes store and that's also a problem if you do not if you are not connected to the internet I got the white screen that means it's working and there's the pineapple for the ponage logo meaning it's working if you do not have your internet connected it will not identify it it'll say could not contact the iTunes I, uh, iPhone or iPod update service <clears throat> and now it's preparing the restore this the restore also takes a while um, so when the restore is done I will get back to you guys so for now I'm gonna go away again <clears throat> alright it's done now it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting <clears throat> as you can see I have the ponage logo the pineapple and it's done now all we're gonna do is wait for it to restart set it up as a new iPhone always set it up as a new iPhone right because you don't want to set back it up I mean set up as your old one because you might install some problems that you might have had for some previous ones right so always start up as a new iPhone that way you get it fresh and just put your backups back right into there <clears throat> that's what I recommend by the way and there I am I'm at the emergency screen and I hate this part because mine always takes so damn long to exit the emergency screen okay I never know how to get out of this quickly so if you guys know how please send me a message because I don't know how to get out of this thing I can't do anything anyways I'm gonna come back when this goes away alright I'm back it went away it didn't go as long as I thought it would this time and there you go iPhone is activated dismiss and then edit the home screen message and as you can see my carrier logo is still there it works Rogers is at the top now you will get this new message now saying you, an update to your carrier settings for your iPhone is available would you like to install it now this doesn't really have anything to do with your phone it has to do with the service so I suggest you update it so always update this part and it's done updating now set up as the new iPhone okay don't restore the backup one you might restore a small problem that you might have had oh yeah and there you go Cydia and IC is installed on the 3.0 software as you can see there's my search <clears throat> so set up as the new iPhone continue you will name it to whatever you want and I will name it XPT I, I don't like when my phone automatically syncs I like to do it manually sync in progress and that's all that's it enjoy your new so once again Mac users only so Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was easy for you guys. So, thanks for watching. Once again, everything in the description. When PC users, I'm sorry I won't be able to make this video, but sub subscribe to D Dino Zambas. He will be in the his link will be in the description. He will have the video out ASAP. <clears throat> One and very trustworthy guy. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed message me with any problems uh, comment rate and subscribe alright thanks for watching I'm XPT and I'm out